It's that time of year again. All the high school seniors are choosing where they want to go to college. You might not be sure. I'm going to give you an option that I chose, the best decision of my life, a community college. First, I'm going to cover the backstory, then I'll go through the stereotypes, go through the schooling and the environment, and I'll finish up with athletics, and then eventually go to foreigners, because I know some of you guys are foreigners as well. Uh, and then we'll do some pros and cons. So if you guys just want to skip to a certain point, I'm going to have it in the link below. Just click there and we'll take you to that point. At this point, my senior year, I had two main choices. I had a private school looking at me for soccer and a public school just looking at me for schooling. I wanted to continue playing soccer as it's something I love to do. So I was very conflicted inside. The private school would have cost me around $30,000 a year, while the state school would have cost me $10,000 a year. That includes room and board, housing, all that stuff. I continued to weigh my options until a big moment happened in my family's life. My dad got unemployed. And when that happened, I knew the private school was out of the question. So the state school was really the only thing I had left. I continued to consider the options, weigh it all, until my mom one day came up to me and was like, hey, you could go to a community college and play soccer there. And at first I was like, what? Why would I want to do something like that? Why would I want to go to a two-year school? That's nonsense. But I'm here to tell you that I was incorrect. It was the best decision of my life. For me at the time, my senior year, I didn't have a car yet, so that was another factor that I had to weigh in that I needed to buy myself a car, and yeah, I know. I was literally like the only senior that didn't have a car. And one more thing I wanna add in is that the girl I was dating at this time, my senior year, was valedictorian, so I had a lot of pressure to pick a really good school to go to, but in the end, I did settle for the community college. The thing that I believed most going into community college was definitely the stereotypes. I believed all of them. I was an honor student, I had great grades, I didn't really know anything about the community college, except that I thought that it wasn't really a real college. It was a two-year school, like you had to transfer over, all this nonsense that is completely baloney. All the people I've met here and all the people that have gone to a community college have very rarely regretted it. There's also a stereotype that your credits will not transfer over. This is also nonsense. All the classes that you take meet the curriculum that are required for other schools. However, there are certain programs in schools that require certain classes to be taken at those schools. So if you know ahead of time, it makes the process much easier. So for example, my chemistry course can be taken at a private school and it would transfer over to the same credit hour. My credit hour might cost $400, their credit hour might cost $4,000. <laughs> That's a difference. Another big stereotype and like funny thing is that a lot of people take community college classes in the summer. Like, for example, my ex-girlfriend who is a valedictorian took a class in the community college and she's going to a d1 private school it's the same class it transfers over and one more thing is i know a lot of my friends who went to big frat and party schools who are no longer attending because they couldn't keep their grades up and now they're attending the community college i kind of like to think that i started the community college trend so with all that out of the way let's talk about the schooling it's fantastic you're in the classroom with real adults so for example, you'll meet mom and, and dads who have kids, you'll meet veterans from wars, you'll meet so many people that you wouldn't necessarily meet going to a four-year school. And these people are people that really open up your mind to the adult world, especially coming out of high school. It's such a mind opener, and I really appreciate the experience that those people gave to me. Like I said earlier, one of the things I really enjoyed about going to a community college was the teachers. They were incredible, especially compared to high school next level they're very understanding they want you to learn and especially if you have some more adults in the classroom there's a more mature feeling that's not like nonsense trying to tell people to shut up you're actually in a good learning environment they want you to get involved they want to know your opinions they want you to argue with them in class they want real life moments in the classroom and that's something that you don't get in high school and you won't necessarily get in a lecture hall with 500 other students for me personally my classroom was around 20 students or less you're very close one-on-one -on -one with teacher uh, experience if you need it and it really helps you get the grades that you want and now talking about the environment it's real it's adult like there are campus activities that happen all the time every week we have like a food day where um some of the students like a volunteer and then we have like walking tacos or we'll have sloppy joe or something and then we'll get some bands out like some people on campus play there um which is awesome like the community gets involved and it's just a really good enjoyable experience another good thing is that there aren't really many distractions you're not worried about going to some party on the weekend or you're not worried about 
joining so many clubs, you can focus on your studies and you can focus on what you want to do with your life. Next up is athletics. Now, if you're guaranteed a starting spot or even in competition for a starting spot at your D1, D2, even D3 school, maybe even NAI, then maybe you want to consider taking that. However, if you're not guaranteed that spot, then I highly recommend going to a community college. For me personally, I wasn't guaranteed a starting spot on the private school that I was looking at, but guess what? My team, my community college team, played that school at their home field, and we beat them 2-0 against their starting lineup. I started that game, I played right back, and played absolutely fantastic. I was super motivated, super inspired to play really good against the other coach to prove to him that I was good enough to get more money than he was offering me and to even start. So it was good revenge in that sense. Also, it really puts into perspective um, community college athletics versus uh, Division two or even Division one schools. For me personally, at the national tournament that I played in for soccer, we were playing some top, top, top notch players. Many foreigners from other countries go to... Um, community college schools because it's affordable and obviously they're pretty good at soccer so I don't know about other sports per se um, basketball or baseball but definitely for soccer I can recommend going to community college you're definitely gonna get noticed lots of schools look into transfers and me personally I already have my transfer school locked up I'm going to a division two school and I'll be going with a scholarship that I wouldn't have gotten straight out of high school you can use this playing time and this experience to get noticed by other schools, maybe even better schools that weren't considering you straight out of high school. You can improve your skills, you can focus on training, and you become a better athlete to get a better scholarship at a better school. So depending on where you're going, you might be able to get on-campus housing. Um, for me personally, it was available. I know some other community colleges is definitely available. I'm not sure about all of them, though. You might want to check that. Uh, I have... I had three roommates. Uh, one of them was a Jamaican and he left. So I have my room to myself. We have a kitchen. We have a living room. It's a legit apartment um, and it's fantastic. It's way better than the first year housing you're going to get at almost any four year school. Um, it's top notch and I highly recommend doing it. And a lot of them are new because the community colleges are just starting to get into us. So you basically have brand new dorms. So next I want to talk about foreigners because I know there's going to be a select few of you out there who are interested to come to the United States. For you guys especially, this is a great option. It's affordable. You guys can come in, and especially like for soccer players, you guys are very well skilled at the game. Um, you can come out, compete, and then get scouted by other schools. Maybe you wanted to go to a D1 school. You can get scouted and then go play at that school. Just make sure you check the NCAA guidelines um, because I know there have been in the past like older athletes who weren't able to go to a D1 school, but they were able to go to an NAIA school, which you might want to check as well. Um, so for athletes especially, you might want to check that. And then also just for foreigners in general, if you want to get a taste of what the college experience is life in America, but you don't want to spend thousands and thousands and thousands of dollars, definitely check out a community college. It's way more affordable. Like I said, it's affordable. Many people can afford this. You're not going to get wrapped up in thousands and thousands and thousands of dollars of student loans. You're going to be able to go to the school that you want to go to afterwards if you work hard and you focus on your studies. Maybe you can get even better transfer scholarships because there are some very good ones out there. And then just move on to what you want to do with your life. And also another thing I want to add is that you're still going to get the four-year school experience for two years, which is plenty of time to take it all in because a lot of people, by the time they're third or fourth year in their four-year school, they're getting like drained of the experience that they're having already. And for this, you have a smaller experience and then you build up to a larger one and it helps you take nice steps to where you want to be. So I think that's it. Um, I hope you guys benefited from this video. Please let me know in the comments below. Uh, like I said before, this was the best experience of my life. I truly felt like I need to make a video to help you guys out and just show you how incorrect the stereotypes are. They're so incorrect. You'll never meet someone who regrets going to community college. Let me put it that way. So I hope you guys enjoyed, and I will see you guys later.